make your own chandelier, first of all, you need some bats. And you can just draw these bats on a white piece of paper, and then you're just going to use that as a stencil and trace it on to some black cardstock, and then cut it out. Just like that, and I have this very thick cardstock over here, and all that. And then afterward, you just want to bend your bat. So the first bend is going to be in the middle right there. Mm -hmm. And then the second bend, second and third, are like at the wings, and you want to turn it backwards for that. Mm -hmm. And here are like the two bends. All that, and then I've done that with all of them. And then you're just going to take a hole puncher and staple two holes at the bottom. Over here, I only showed one hole, and you want to make both of the holes pretty high, but not too high because at the bottom they're going to break. So here I just have one of the holes and I did that with all of them and then you want to make two holes actually. And then you just want to put them paint on the back of a pencil and use that to make some eyes. And then you just want to take some paint and make lining effects over it and here are all my bats with the eyes. Mm -hmm. And then here I have the two eyes, the two holes and then I outlined the bat. And I did this front and back. And then here are like the bends and all that. And now what you want to do is take some yarn, thread, or something. And you want to take one of the pieces and bend them in half. And then take them through both of the holes. So here I bend that in half. And then you just want to turn your bat around and take it through. And here I am struggling. And then once you have took it over, like in the loop thingy, you just want to put all the thread through it. And then the bat should like hang up this way. And to make like the pumpkins that I have at the front and the skeletons, you want to take a piece of paper and bend it three times. And there. And now you just want to draw on like the shapes. So the first one is a pumpkin and... I'm going to draw that and you want to leave some parts of it connected like yeah and then you just want to go ahead and cut it out that? And like I have a connect over there and then my whole other side of it is connected and you can see how and then it here's like my pumpkin and I'm just gonna open it up and that was simple and I'm just gonna add those on and, with spiders and, and I did this on a white piece of paper thing, it, as well and but then you here. can transfer mm -hmm. it on and, and, and here spider. I have and a I like spider a that, and, and a skeleton you don't cut and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them out so here's my skeleton and I have a couple of those and then I'm going to cut out the spider and then I have a spider and I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. And then you're going to open it up and you're going to have like pretty amazing spiders. And then you can just stick them on. Spiders, skeletons, and pumpkins. And for like the chandelier part of it, you're going to need like those things that you put over your plants. And then my bot, like the thing that you stuck in is like broken. So I'm going to cut that. And then like the three loops is where I'm going to hang on the bird. Um, the bats and like the pumpkins and all that and then I'm gonna add like strings at the top and like hold it up and here's the final product and this is how it looks and I have the bats with the paint all over them the eyes and then they're colored back and front and then I have the pumpkins over there all painted skeletons and then the spiders at the top and I hanged everything up and I also had like this thing to like hold up my whole chandelier and so we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did don't forget to give